Hey guys, what is up? Jameson here, walking my dog. And just leaving the house right now. And here's the great view. <laughs> and that's just steam coming up from the house or whatever. As you can tell, we got a lot of snow. Uh, one of my friends got like over a foot of snow, she said. And uh, she lives out in the woods, so that's got to be interesting. <clears throat> so yeah, just walking Murphy here. And uh, this is YTO Day 16. Uh, spaced out last night and forgot to post a video until late. So that's why that one came out half an hour late. But I've got about three videos to catch up on. And I'll be up to date. So let's see, there's a few things I wanted to address today. Um, Vic's still flying in on the 21st, so it's going to be about... Uh, crap, it's Saturday now. So, oh, one sec, i got to unlock the gate here. It's uh, Saturday when he comes in, it's Tuesday now. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Five days if you count today. And he'll be here, so that's going to be awesome. We're going to be vlogging it up. Freestyle. Whatever that means. herp a derp Sorry, this gate's being a bitch right now. Ah! It's the last thing you guys want to watch me do. Open a gate. There we go. Go ahead, Murph. That's gonna be fun having Vic come out here. We're gonna be hitting up the heading up the Vancouver competition. Oh, not Vancouver, sorry. Linden. Come here, buddy. Ah. <laughs> gotcha. Come here. My dog's a Bernese mountain dog. Alright. So back on me. So yeah, uh, Linden Washington competition. I promise I have things I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, so I want to cover, already covered Vic's visit. He's staying until the 8th. And then two other things I want to cover are uh, SDHC and SDXC uh, cards. I guess I'm trying to decide what kind to get for my camera. Um, and uh, the tomorrow's blackout. So... I'm going to start with the blackout. If you don't know about SOPA or PIPA, I didn't research that much into what I'm about to tell you. I did research a lot, but I don't have a script. Um, <clears throat> so if you don't know, SOPA is the Stop Online Piracy Act, and PIPA is the Protect IP Act. And uh, everybody's being up in arms about them because worst case scenario, and obviously this is worst case, because you'd have to go through a court and everything, but if a company says, hey, that website, i.e. YouTube or some other place, is uh, showing our copywritten material, they can go to the court and say, shut them down. Uh, obviously, that's extreme, because what will probably happen is they'll just say to the website, hey, uh, can you take that site, can you take that down? But the problem with that is, uh, if it's a site like YouTube, I can upload whatever the fuck I want to it. So if anybody upload something, YouTube can't really do much to uh, block all the copyrighted stuff because it's being uploaded so so often. Um, and there's a lot of gray area, like what's copyrighted and what's not. If you're at a concert and you're showing your friends something, the music in the background, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so yeah, and uh, they would just say, okay, YouTube shut down completely because we can't control them. And they can't, they're not doing enough to control themselves. So for a third time, that's the extreme condition. My dad, who's a lawyer, says that that won't happen. But uh, currently, SOPA is been shelved indefinitely because too many big names are going against it. And uh, it sucks, though, because the people in Congress who are voting on it, they even said themselves they don't know much about uh, um, the Internet and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure they know a basic understanding, but not enough to, you know, lay a law based upon this. So it's not a law. Uh, and God hope it doesn't become one. So basically, what this is, 
I promised I had a place I was going with this. Tomorrow, and I just learned about this today, tomorrow is a internet blackout. So I first learned about this from Rhett and Link on their Rhett and Link 2 channel, Good Mythical Morning. And that's a nice frozen dog poop. Um, basically, a bunch of websites or YouTube people are shutting down for one day so we can experience what it's like for a blackout, like in the case of if SOPA blocks something. Um, SOPA has been shelved indefinitely, currently at least, but PIPA is still alive and strong. Protect, protect, IP, protect IP Act. Um, but yeah, SOPA is basically people saying, hey, um, let's keep uh, inventors of ideas having the monetary... Wow, I cannot talk. Basically, provide incentive, continue to provide incentive for people. So if I made a music CD, and the only way for people to get it is buying it, it would support my industry versus somebody just pirating it, and I wouldn't get shit. However, that that's a good theory, but the way they execute it is just terrible. Okay, so that's not a law. So blackout. Um, Wikipedia is doing this too. Yes, wikipedia.org. Uh, if you go on their site right now, it says, like, less than seven hours until we black out for December, or wow, uh, whatever the day is, <laughs> um, to demonstrate, to protest against SOPA and PIPA. So Wikipedia is doing it, some YouTube users are going to do it, and uh, I'm going to do it. So tomorrow will be no YouTube Orbit Day. Not a single video. Um... So yeah, hopefully people can recognize what SOPA would do, or PIPA, if it was passed in the worst case scenario. So hopefully Congress will, you know, wake up. Uh, obviously I'm not too educated about this, I don't know all the ins and outs, and I'm not dissing the political system at all. But, obviously, I'm just giving my two cents on stuff. Okay, um, and finally the last thing I wanted to cover today is, uh, what is it, SD cards and SDXC and SDHC. So all of these are uh, memory cards for recording videos and taking pictures on digital cameras uh, or video cameras. And I've been doing a lot of research trying to figure out what the best thing is to get. And I don't want to get something that's too good for my camera. So I have the, uh, well, right now I'm recording on my iPhone 4S, but my actual movie video camera is a JVC Averio GZHM200, so GZ-HM200, and uh, I just learned that it can take SDHC cards, but not SDXC. So basically it's, um, what is it called, stand for? Secure Digital High Capacity and Secure Digital Extreme Capacity, and basically... The differences is our uh, SDHC goes from, I think it's 8 gigabytes up to 816 or 32 gigabytes. I want to say there's a 4 in there as well. So yeah, 816, 32 gigabytes is how much memory they can store. The extreme capacity cards start at 64 gigabytes, and I think SanDisk just announced at CES 2012 that they're making a 128 gigabyte card, but the theoretical limit for these SDXC cards is two terabytes on a little tiny thing. Um, some of my neighbors just pulled in. Just walking back here with Murphy still. On the snow, in my boots. And my hands are getting frozen. Uh, let me switch my hand with the leash so if Murphy pulls, I don't drop my phone. So yeah, basically, if anybody out there knows a lot about SDHC cards, go ahead and hit me up on Skype. It's Rubik's Guy, just like my channel name, and we'll talk about it, because uh, I don't really have much of a budget, and I don't want to waste money on something that isn't good enough or too good. What I'd like is a 32-gigabyte uh, SDHC card, class 10. Uh, oh yeah, specific question then. Uh, two of them. Is there a certain brand? Does the brand name matter? Because I know there's a uh, SanDisk, there's Transcend, 
Um, there's one other I can't think of. So that's the one question. The other question is, a lot of my videos on YouTube, I don't know if you can tell, go ahead and look through them. Um, like, I'd say mainly my Project Dr. Feelgood vlogs and my uh, cube reviews are all filmed with my camera. And I'm currently using Class 6 cards. One's SanDisk and the other is a, an off-brand. And uh, the video seems really grainy around the corners, and I don't know what that's about. Uh, so, not, not even the corners, I mean like, if you look at a solid wall or something, it's sort of like a visual snow effect, or Sorry, a TV's phone ran out of space, so I had to delete some extra videos on there. Uh, carrying on from the last one is I'm trying to figure out how to fix the issue of my picture being all grainy, even when it's high definition, 720 and 1080. So the only thing I can think of is maybe it's, I need to upgrade to a class 10 card, uh, or like a SanDisk Extreme or something. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of card will will get rid of that graininess and help me get more, uh, I guess, frames per second. Because like when I move my camera around like this, um, choppy, I guess. I don't know. You, you, you'll you know what I mean if you just watch a bunch of YouTube videos and people move the camera around. It's the, it's the common effect. Um... So anyway, that's YouTube Orbit Day 16, and hopefully the snow will stay for a while. I'm pretty damn sure the Shrink Shallow 6x6 is in the mail, but I live on a hill, so I can't exactly walk down and get it in the ice.